Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm a legal advisor with the Global Justice Center, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about our work on the Draft Crimes Against Humanity Treaty. The draft treaty was written by the International Law Commission to try and address an impunity gap in grave international crimes. So unlike genocide and war crimes, crimes against humanity don't have their own global standalone treaty. And so the only place that it's codified in international law is in the Rome Statute. And so crimes against humanity are subject to all of the limitations, both substantive and jurisdictional, of the International Criminal Court. By having its own standalone treaty, it would create obligations on states to prevent and punish crimes against humanity, and that would include enacting domestic legislation. So while the Crimes Against Humanity Treaty is a really important tool for closing that impunity gap, it's not enough to just replicate the language that's already in the Rome Statute. And unfortunately, that's exactly what the International Law Commission did. And so that's where the Global Justice Center got involved. In addition to being part of the successful coalition to eliminate the outdated gender definition that reduced gender to just the binary of male and female, GJC also made its own independent submission to the International Law Commission on the definition of forced pregnancy. Since the Crimes Against Humanity Treaty directly replicates so much of that language from the Rome Statute, we can look to the International Criminal Court as a really good starting point to see where this has fallen short. And in the nearly 20 years since the International Criminal Court was established, there's only one standing conviction on sexual and gender-based violence. And so this treaty is really an opportunity to make sure that accountability isn't just reserved for certain survivors of certain kinds of harm, especially when those types of harm are cut along gendered lines.